because it's a bright, bright, sunshiny day. What's up, guys? How's it going, Mark from 408? If you haven't already, leave some comments. It seems like you guys only really comment when I ask it to, so feel free to leave some comments. It has been raining for four days straight. I'm just hanging out in the East End here. Got some Canadian Tire, there's our gas. Diesel shot up 40 cents overnight, not sure why, but it just happens, so. Just figured I'd check in, let you guys know we got a little special surprise for you. So we've done barrel wheels on the quad. Oh my God. We've done wooden wheels on the Maverick. And we've done propane wheels on the Maverick. <laughs> and we've done some Dodge wheels on the Maverick. And I was like, you know what? It's time to switch it up. Everyone's going to say I copied, you know, Wesson Diesel, blah, blah, blah. Well, he's copied me in tons of stuff. I was destroying cars before he even was a YouTuber. Side by side vlog copied me the other day with the wheelie with the real wheelie ramp. But you know what? Who cares? We all copy each other. So we got some freshies here. Check these out. So Extreme Metal Works, they put them together and they are aggressive. Oh my god, they're so heavy. Urgh! So they were a lot heavier, obviously. They cut these out, and made them a little lighter, but uh they're about 30 inch and they are freaking aggressive, like. Look how big these freaking grooves are. So these are gonna tear up the dirt and tear up the ice this winter. There's my studded tire right there. That's kind of what they went off of, so. Anyways, let's head over to Jay's. We gotta install some stuff, then head out to the farm and drop these off. I'm super excited for these things. I can't even push them in. <laughs> I'd say they're probably 70 pounds each. Oh, there we go. Chainsaw. All right, Jay, what's going on here? Oh, well, we're just updating some stuff that was bent. Why was it bent? I don't know. Maybe some jumping. And weird. Some crazy driving. Some weird driver. Just over the years abuse, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, so these are your stock arms. Those are my stock, yeah, trailing arms. Yeah. And those are the radius rods. What new beat up they get right in there from all the gravel and stuff. Yeah. Can I help you guys? <laughs> Can we help you? Like, yeah, someone's here, someone's here. Yeah, attention. And then these are the freshies. So these are Super ATV arms. Yeah, trailing arms, yeah. Trailing yeah, arms. The high clearance ones. Super ATV high clearance. They are beefy. They are definitely aggressive. I like how that goes right in there too. That's nice. Isn't that pretty thick? Like, look how thick this thing is, too. Yeah, that's wild. Like, I don't know. It's if you be... break that, I will be thoroughly impressed. I hope I can actually back over the garage now. <laughs> is it going to sit higher? It's pretty stiff. It seems like it sits a little lower. I don't know why, but... All right. And then these arms are... So they're from this company in, I believe, Michigan. Um, they're called Atlas ORV. Okay. I guess atlasorv.com is the website. And, I'll, uh, I'll include it below. Yeah, and it's uh, two guys... This guy Calvin's the owner. I guess he's a master uh, laser operator, master robotics, whatever. And this is what they do. They make suspension parts. And uh, their branded company reached out to us and we got their parts to try them on. Sweet. And how much weight are these meant for? I think they said the bottom ones are uh, rated for 12,000 breaking pounds. Wild. That's a lot of pounds. Definitely a lot stronger yeah. than the uh, the stock. These are like twelve. Yeah, those are twelve pounds. Yeah. I've bent a few of those in my day. Like look at the like look at the difference in this. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the difference. Mm -hmm. You can break that with your hand. These are all billet aluminum. Great. So. All right. Well, we'll set up the time lapse and get uh, get this side going. You did this side yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I kind of jumped the gun. Getting impatient. Yeah, but it looks it looks so nice. Oh yeah, it definitely looks meaner. And so yeah. Sweet. All right. Get it going. Let's do it. We 
are on there. Those are looking beefy and good. Just need to put the shock on. Jay's got to go get the kids, though, and i got to keep going. So the shock on, tire on, and just put the brake line back on. Should be good to go. Let's uh, do the carry-on, get out of here, get out of the farm, and we'll wrap this one up. <laughs> what do you think? That is super thick. <laughs> think those will do? We can carve up some ice? Oh, man, that'll destroy everything. <laughs> wow. Definitely don't go on asphalt or the driveway with those bad boys. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Can't wait. <laughs> They're going to dig. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gonna dig like crazy. Party mode. The garage is absolutely full again. Holy. Well, we'll get rid of the skid next week. That's all parts for the Maverick. The sled is in here. And this Maverick is looking prime time. I'm definitely in love with this XRS. My last one was a DS because I was, I was a little worried the XRS wasn't going to fit down all the trails we go down. But Jay's machine 70 or 1 or 72 and it fits down everything. So... Had to upgrade, and I'm so glad I did. Obviously, I haven't really driven this thing much, but uh, I'm super excited to get her on the trails. So these are the tires I'm running. But yes, then we got the blade tires. Look at these freaking bad boys. Oh, my God. Uh, try not to pinch my finger here. <laughs> these are not light. Uh, all right, look at this. <laughs> uh, so I'm running 32s right now. These are 30s. Reason I'm running 30s is because uh, on my last machine, the 32s did rub once in a while. So obviously I didn't want these to rub because the, you'll tear the whole front end off. So let's put her beside a tire and see what it looks like here. Oh yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they're almost the same size. Pretty close, pretty close. Oh, wow, those are going to be a freaking riot. Oh, my God, hopefully I don't destroy anything. But who knows? You never know until you know, right? So just wanted to announce to you guys that uh, we got those new ones. And hopefully next week, I was debating on putting them on before actually I take it to do the build next week. So do a quick video with those and then uh, maybe take it to get the build done. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So. Looks like uh, we got some packages too. I got, what do we got here? We got some new DeWalt stuff. I actually opened it yesterday, forgot to include it in the video. So I really wanted this grease gun and she finally arrived and it came, what did it come with? It came with this, nice bright flashlight. And then it came with another half inch impact, but I think it's in my truck, but I'll show you this one. This one's obviously used, but that's also what it came with except a brand new one. So never have enough DeWalt stuff. And did it come with a saw too? I can't remember. I got so much DeWalt stuff. Also, this box just arrived. Yes, I pre-opened it before the video, but I have not looked inside yet. Just obviously because it's too hard to cut and open at the same time. So we have the Toronto Snowmobile Show this weekend. Obviously, by the time this video will be posted, the show will be over, but... We will be there with Team LTD. We haven't done it in the last couple of years because it's been canceled because everything that's going on in the world, but here we go. It'll be good to see everyone. Mark, fall has never felt or looks this fresh. Enjoy our brand new collection. We wouldn't have done it without you. P.S. You've been iced. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Team LTD, living the dream. Oh, we got some toques. Looks to be a nice fluffy hoodie. Oh, they iced me. What do we got here? Some retro, retro stuff. Nice smearing off. Got some chugging that later. And this. I feel like I should open this up. See, this is, oh, I need two sets of hands. Or tea. There we go. Oh, that is a thick sweater. Look at that. Whoop. Hold on there. That is some outdoorsy ass stuff. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh. 
Look at that. Holy, well, thank you, Team LCD. Cheers to you guys. Bing. <sighs> All right, I'll quit yammering on for now. Sorry we didn't have anything that, you know, was crazy today. It's been raining for four days straight and snowy and butt crappy out, so... But next week, it's supposed to go up to 20 and be sunny all week. So we will get some action action going for you guys. So thank you, as always, for sticking around. Please leave some comments below. I always re love reading them, and I try to respond as much as I can. Have yourself a fantastic week and weekend. Don't do anything I would do. And hopefully we'll see you at the snowmobile show. Later, guys.